Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on Dmaps TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming for the first time. If you are regular, just to the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that you won't miss any of the videos that we do. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, yesterday the deputy spokesperson of the Triple C, Comrade Ostalos Siziwa, was tasked with explaining why. Amos Shibaya and other Triple C MPs, as reported by this publication, also were attending Parliament business. Of course, yes, we saw the pictures that were circulating, we saw the pictures that were trending of Amos Shibaya, Jameson Timba, and other Triple C MPs who were with Modenda and others and PF MPs. And as reported by the by the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation, they said that those MPs yet defied Chamisa's order and attended parliament business. So I wrote to Ostalo Sezio asking him to explain on the why Amos Chizio and others were at the parliament. So Ostalo Sezio responded as saying, Chibaya was mandated by the Citizens National Assembly to go to Pali and do the following. So he was in, in, on a task that was mandated by the Citizens National Assembly and according to Nelson Chamisa, this is the highest decision-making body of the party. Number one, deliver the resolution of the Citizens National Assembly to the Speaker that we have the collective leadership of Triple C, have not recorded anyone and he acted in error and must reverse. So Chibaya was tasked with going to tell Mr. Mudenda that he had acted in error and must therefore reverse his degree number two let him be aware that until then who will not for the next 14 days not attend any parliament until our legitimate mps are brought back so they were also affirming their position to the speaker to say we will not be attending any parliament business from today and to continue for 14 days and we will stop anything to do with parliament that the Citizens National Assembly is the movement's highest decision-making body. There is no such a position as Secretary General mandated to communicate on our behalf. We won't allow a daylight coup on our representatives. Until then, you won't see any MP in Pali or Senate. So they reiterated their position. They are saying that for the next 14 days or so, they won't be in Parliament. They won't be doing any parliament business and we just wait ladies and gentlemen to see what will happen after those 14 days or within those 14 days will jacob mudinda come back to his senses and reverse these records or will they wait because if they wait for 21 days without reporting to parliament if it comes 21 days yes of course we know the likes of uh, ministers yambi yambi would descend on the triple c mps and say you have absconded hence we are declaring vacancies in all those constituencies though that they want so it's a very tricky position for a triple c going forward to say what is the ultimate decision that they are going to make given all the circumstances that they have befallen them at least for now they have decided to disengage for Pali. they have the to decided to disengage from from council but what is boggling ladies and gentlemen what is on everyone's mind right now is to say what happens after those 14 days honorable madiv